On the 25th day of October, Halloween gave to me 25 nipples biting, 24 demons moaning, 23 heads skittering, 22 detectives thrilling, 21 wieners stretching, 20 zombies climbing, 19 Richards cheesing, 18 undead trains, 17 morticians regaling, 16 Vincents cracking, 15 Lees counting, 14 brides abiding, 13 Carfax abbeys, 12 fathers stripping, 11 au pairs drowning, 10 children creeping, 9 Roddy seizing, 8 snowy mazes, 7 bacons digging, 6 doorways bending, 5 children yowling, 4 zombie bulls, 3 haunted mirrors, 2 monster houses, and a fog that makes it hard to see. Hey there, everybody. Welcome to day 25 of the 31 Days of Halloween. That is right. We are on Sunday, October 25th. Uh, we've made it all the way to now in October, uh, which means that uh, the inevitable end is drawing nigh. Uh, that's a bit of a bummer, but uh, I gotta say, moments like this are what makes it all worthwhile. Because we are talking about uh, the movie Mausoleum from 1983 and a couple of or a little bit of background uh with my history of this movie which is very limited i confuse this movie with one dark night all the time and i realized at some point you know i don't think i've ever actually sat down and watched mausoleum i've seen mortuary and i've seen one dark night and somehow i had conflated mausoleum to one of those two movies and so, a uh, big shout out to the Belcourt Theater uh, here in Nashville, Tennessee. They were hosting their 12 Hours of Terror, which is normally an in-person event, but uh, due to the current circumstances uh, with the pandemic and whatnot, they did a virtual uh, a horror film festival, and uh, it was great. It was, uh, uh, the streaming had a little chat room, people were really into it, uh, were really into the spirit of it. And it was a tremendous amount of fun. Uh, it, it has led me to think I want to do something similar to that uh, for the, the Legion side of things. Um, so, mm, I don't know. We'll see. Uh, <laughs> but I've got, I've got some plans because I was like, you know, doing like a, a marathon like this with our network would be super fun. And we have the technology uh, to do so, we could we could cast that shit right up, and uh, and and that would be a blast. So uh, that aside, future plans aside, um, the the festival kicked off with the movie Mausoleum, which I was really excited about because again, I I didn't I never saw it, and uh, I was. I was excited to see it, A, because, you know, anytime I've seen a movie that I've heard talked about and and have never seen, that's always kind of exciting. Uh, secondly, because uh, it fit our theme for the next few movies, which is uh, sort of possession and, and devils and demons and whatnot. And so Mausoleum fits very squarely into that category. Mausoleum, as it happens, is the story of uh, Susan, who is a member of a cursed family and this all gets very convoluted so broad sketches she's got some demon shit in her family history uh she starts acting crazy while the people around her begin to die uh in mysterious and wonderful ways and uh and then this ultimately leads to a confrontation between a psychiatrist and a possessed susan uh, to exorcise her of uh, this demon. The, this movie is clearly a mix of a bunch of movies that were popular at the time. There's uh, certainly a little bit of Exorcist. It's uh, it's a little sleazy. There's a little bit of fucking in it. Um, <laughs> in a way that's really wonderful. But the thing about Mausoleum, it's, it's one of those movies, guys, that once you see it, you're never going to not love Mausoleum. Uh, I was so delighted with this movie. It is utter nonsense. First of all, every time Susan gets uh, possessed and is about to kill somebody, her eyes start glowing green. And you're like, oh, shit. 
Susan's about to get up to some business. And it is stuff like uh, she makes uh, one dude's head explode. Uh, there's another guy that uh, her gardener, Ben, who she fucks and then just demons out on and then carves him up real good. But there's like the seduction of Ben is way too extended for the, for this to be the end result. Um, yeah, yeah, there's a lot of head trauma. There's a, a character you will recognize, uh, an actor named Marjo Gortner, who plays her husband. Uh, that That's really wonderful. Uh, Lawanda Page, who you may or may not recall as Aunt Esther from uh, Sanford and Son, along with, you know, like she has a storied career, right? Like that was the thing that I grew up watching with her in it. But Lawanda Page is a national treasure. She's been in a million things. And she is the sassiest, uh, like, housekeeper in this movie. To the point, like, she does the the horror movie thing that we all want, which is she sees some scary shit happening, literally packs her bags, and leaves the fucking movie. No no looking back. Uh, in fact, she's got a little rhyme about it. Uh, it's, um, I'm done with grieving, time to be leaving, something like that. Oh, my goodness. Guys, Mausoleum is fucking bananas. None of it makes much sense. I, I'm, I can't argue that. It, it kind of falls into that category of great bad movies. And uh, it, it, is it better with a crowd? Probably so. It's probably more fun with a bunch of people sitting around that you can kind of goof on the movie with a little bit. And that was the experience I had with it virtually as it may have been. Uh, watching it with a crowd was terrific. If you can watch Mausoleum in that environment, I highly recommend it. But don't sleep on it. Because Mausoleum is one of those movies, even if it's just you and a significant other, pop some popcorn and and get ready to, you know, have a good time with a movie, and you're going to have a blast. It's bonkers. It is the, the, the collection of day lingerie that Susan wears throughout the film is staggering. Like, half the budget must have gone to that. Uh, but it's really something. It, it is... Uh, it's silly and wonderful and one of those movies that came out of the 80s that could not have come out of any other time. It is just such a bundle of uh, uh, references to other better movies within it. Um, you know, fueled by the fashion, there's some upholstered couches that are as 1970s as it comes. It It's just wonderful. It's a movie that is wonderful to sit down in and revel in just how crazy and silly and wonderful it is. Um, you know, there's demon makeup and... Dude, there's there's demon nipples. Oh my god, the demon nipples. I just... I don't... I can't tell you any more about it. You gotta see it. You gotta see Mausoleum. It is one of the craziest movies I've ever seen. I can't wait to watch it again with other people. So, uh, Mausoleum is our, our 25th pick. For this here, 31 Days of Halloween. Um, I highly recommend that you seek this one out as soon as possible. Be sure that you have some booze and or uh, older uh, mind-altering substances around when you watch this. I, I, I really feel like this movie benefits from that a little bit. You know, I don't know if what kind of recommendation that is. That you should be kind of fucked up when you see it. But it, it sure does help. Uh, anyway... You should see Mausoleum. And, and when you do, you should drop me a line. Let me know uh, what you thought about it. You can do that at bo, B-O, at legionpodcasts.com. Uh, and there you can uh, tell me all about what you're watching, uh, what you're doing to celebrate the Halloween season. we got less than a week to go. And uh, I, I'm both sad and excited to, to uh, get to this final stretch. So uh, thanks for listening. As always, I will be back again tomorrow with another episode of the 31 Days of Halloween here from Legion Podcast. Till then, have yourselves a great Sunday. Have a spooky Sunday. And uh, and I'll see you bright and early Monday morning. Talk to you then. Bye. <laughs>